how are you? I'm so excited to see you here with us today. We have an another exciting story and a great time here together. So, what do we do first? Yep, we sing our welcome song. Are you ready? Me too. Who came to church today? Church today, church today. Who came to church today? And we're glad you came. Came to church today, church today, church today. Came to church today and we're glad you came. Should we do that again? I think so. Came to church today, church today, church today. Came to church today and we're glad you came. Amazing job. So we did our welcome song. What comes next? Our memory verse. Have you been practicing? <laughs> because I have been practicing. Let's see if I get it right this time. Are you ready? Here we go. For I know the plans I have for you says the Lord and where is that found in the Bible Jeremiah 29 11 let's do that together are you ready for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. This is our last Sunday doing this memory verse. So I want you to keep that one in mind all the time because it's important to know that God has a plan for each and every one of us. This month, we've been hearing stories from who? That's right, Noah and Joseph. So I can't wait to see what this week's story is all about. Enjoy. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me. That's it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Good to see you. Look at this cool toaster. It took lots of work and lots of pieces had to come together, but ta-da! <laughs> Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Now, we've been talking about God's plans, and I want to tell you one more really big, really important thing. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. We learned about... Two people named Noah and Joseph. God had plans for both of them. God planned for Noah to build a really big boat to save his family and the animals. And God put a rainbow in the sky to remember that God always keeps his promises. Noah trusted God's plans. Way to go, Noah! <laughs> and God had plans for Joseph, too. Joseph had to do many hard things. God used Joseph to save a lot of people, even Joseph's own family. <laughs> Joseph trusted God's plans. Way to go, Joseph! <laughs> okay, so now I have a really big, really important thing to tell you about God's plans. God knows the plans he has for you. That's right. 
God has plans for you. God loves you and has amazing, incredible, wonderful plans for you. That is so exciting. Everyone, yell out loud. God has plans for me. Ready? One, two, three. God has plans for me. Now, look at your neighbor and say, God has plans for you. Ready? One, two, three. God has plans for you. <laughs> yes, he does. Now let's cheer for God because God has plans for us. Yay, God! <laughs> so, how do we know God's plans? Hmm. We can talk to God and ask him. We can read the Bible and keep learning about God. <laughs> I am so excited because God has plans for me and God has plans for you. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Adios. For I know the plans I have for you. For I know the plans I have for you. For I know the plans I have for you. Hey friends, I was just practicing our memory verse since it's the last week in October. What's the last time I have to practice? Do you remember what it was? For I know the plans I have for you says the Lord. I was forgetting that part, wasn't I? And that comes from Jeremiah 29, 11. Thanks for helping me out. So what did you learn in our story? Oh, that God always has a plan. We talked about all of the stories from this month, from Noah to Joseph, just so many things happened. But who always had a plan? God. I am so grateful for God's plan for my life, for your life, and for everyone. Are we go ready to go ahead and pray? Awesome. Dear God, we are so grateful and we are so thankful that you always have a plan for us. We know that we can always trust in you. And if we're ever unsure about what to do, we just have to sit and wait and talk to you. We know that you are going to help us figure it out. We love you, God, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, friends, we will see you next week in our new month of November. Bye.